So let's look at partitioning data. Now, what exactly do we mean by partitioning data? So like customers often store their data in time series, series formats. Like over here we have 2015, January, and then folders like by day and then the data. So you can call this as time series format, right? It's one of the examples like you have, um, then you, as a customer, you might query specific items within a day, month or year. So without partition, Athena will scan the entire table while executing queries. So with partition, you can restrict Athena to specific partitions. Thus, you can reduce the amount of data scanned. So basically lowering your cost and improve performance. So over here in this example, we have this 2005 data. Then in 2016, you'll have 2016 data, 2017 data. But let's say you are analyzing your data and you just want to analyze your data of 2016. You don't want to worry about 2014 or 15. You are just focused on 2016 data. So if you don't, so basically you will partition your data on 2016 folder only or if you par if if you don't partition, then Athena will scan all the folders. But you don't want you want just 2016 partition, so you'll partition your data based on that year only, and that's where partition help to reduce your scan time, and then ultimately gives you better cost. So you can partition on one folder or multiple folders, and let's see how to do that. So first of all, we'll have to change our schema so let's create another table so i'm going to click here so this i'm going to create a table and i'm going to add underscore part at the end so just so so, so we know it's a partition table everything else is same like it's reading from the same location but we are adding a new partition over here so we are adding year month and day as partition so we can specifically query for a particular day without reading much data if we want, or we can just specify a year in our query and restrict our data to just that year. So we are creating partitions. Now we are going to run this query and create the table. Now we created the partition but the second step always remember is we have to load the partitions so you can either load all the partitions or load one particular partition at a time so we are going to just load one particular partition so we are going to write another query and only load this partition 2015 month first day first and we also have to specify the location of the folder where this partition is located. So it's again, 2015-0101. So remember an important part over here. And then we are going to run this query. So basically we have just added the meta, met, loaded the metadata, like we are not actually loading the data or anything like that. We are just pointing Athena where it should look for the data. So now let's run our, run a query on that partition. So I'm going to run this query and remember our partition table. So basically we are running this query where we want to have response code and the count, the number of times that response code occurred. And that should be in 2015 month and day. So we want on this particular day, how many response codes we had and how many hits per response codes we had. So that's what we are trying to partition. So we're going to group by response code. So it's basically like just like a SQL query group by, and I'm going to run the query. So we ran it on our part table. So basically our 500 response code had this many URLs, 200 code had this many URLs. 
so basically 200 had the most number of urls of course so now let's run this query so over, over here it's you see it's scanned almost three gigabytes of data it took four seconds now once you create a lot of partitions you may also want to view the partition so you can run this query to just view the partitions you have so in our scenario we just have one partition which is year month and day so it's just showing that partition so if you run this query you will be able to view the partitions of a particular table so in this video we saw a brief demonstration of what are partitions and how you can utilize partitions to effectively reduce your scan time and eventually reduce your query bill and that's why partitions are important it may not be always useful to uh, use partitions because sometimes when you use partitions you will have to restructure your data because in our case we had restructure our data by date year and day but let's say you want to partition or you want to create partition by error code or http code then you will have to again create folders per that error code and then move the files around and so you'll have to restructure your data so keep in mind uh, when you can use partition or when you should not use partition 